Welcome to Brentwood Fire and Rescue. I'm Nicholas Bemke, a firefighter and EMT, and I'm gonna show you around station one. All right guys, this is engine 51. We're equipped with many tools that we'll use on fire ground. This is our cutters and our spreaders. These are hydraulic tools, collectively known as the jaws of life. And we use these on extrications to remove patients from the vehicle, take off doors, take off roofs. Hopefully we never have to use them on you. Engine 51 is equipped with thousands of feet of hose lines. These three hose lines here will flow 200 gallons a minute. That'll fill a standard bathtub in 15 to 20 seconds. At Brentwood Fire and Rescue, a majority of our calls are medical calls. That's why when you call 911 for medical, we show up. We have a paramedic or advanced EMT on every frontline apparatus, and we can do everything but transport. In the fire service and at Brentwood Fire and Rescue, we use a lot of technology to help us out on calls. Our mobile data terminal, or MDT for short, allows us to communicate with dispatch, get notes on the patients or the calls that we're running to, and allows us to actually track ourselves and route us to your house faster. This is our turnout gear room. This is where we store all of our gear when we're off shift and we put it on the trucks when we're on. This is Firefighter Aldrich. And you can see that she's dressed out in all of her turnout gear. Her coat and her bunker pants weigh 30 pounds together. Her helmet weighs six and her air pack weighs 35 pounds. All of that together can weigh 70 to 100 pounds. That's the weight of two second graders that we will carry into a fire or on a rescue scene. I'm gonna have firefighter Rose clip into her air so you guys can hear how she breathes. We want you guys to hear her breathe and know that if we come into a fire, even though we're dressed out in our gear, it's just like me coming to see you. So we wanna make sure that we give our firefighters a hug and we're not scary. Hey, I'm Division Chief Jeff Pender with the City of Brentwood. And I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the city administration and the technology that we use to help prevent fires. Um, although the firefighters gear and all the stuff that they use in the, in the field is very important to keep them safe, we try to prevent fires on this end. For instance, this is our emergency operations center. When we have a large scale event, all the city leaders gather in here to discuss amongst, amongst themselves uh, the emergencies that could be happening in the city. From public works to the police to fire to EMS and to the city manager so we, that we can keep him up to date on what is going on and we can make the best decisions together for the city. Hey, my name is Engineer Stephen White with Brentwood Fire and Rescue and you know when we spend 48 hours here uh, on duty we have to eat eventually. You know the kitchen table is actually a pretty important part of firefighting. You know this is where the older firefighters pass on knowledge to the younger firefighters. We tend to talk about any subject you can think about from family issues to you know issues having to do with the city or just personal anecdotes that uh, you know help us to identify how we can better ourselves as firefighters. A call like this happens any moment at any time and a firefighter has to be willing and ready to answer that call. It's part of our dedication of being civil servants. day room is actually the heart of any fire station. Here in our day room, you have an opportunity to rest from a long day, maybe take care of some of the uh, reports or emails that we have to send throughout the day. It really is the central focal point of the fire station. Brentwood Fire and Rescue is actually pretty unique. Most fire departments work a 24-48 schedule. So that's 24 hours on duty, 48 hours off duty. But here at Brentwood Fire, we work a 4896. So that's two days on and four days off. Standard business hours for a firefighter starts at 7 a.m. and ends at 5 p.m. But that doesn't stop from there. Uh, from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m., which is considered lights out, you can do anything from doing your laundry to 
studying to you taking a class online. It's really kind of standard time, but of course, like anything as a firefighter, a call can interrupt that at any point. So as a firefighter, we spend 48 hours here. So obviously at some point in time, we're gonna have to get some sleep and that's what this specific room is for. This is our bunk room. It has individual bunks for each firefighter where they can rest their eyes from a hard day or just have a little quiet time to themselves when we have a really long shift. It's very, very important that we keep this room safe and, and secure and quiet. Much like when we're eating, a firefighter has to always be ready to serve. We get calls anywhere from 5 p.m. to 3 a.m. And we always have to be ready to respond to the public when there's an emergency that arises. Here at Brentwood Fire and Rescue, we're required to have an hour and a half of fitness every day. So this is our exercise room. We use this to build strength, stamina, for any of the calls that we may see in the city. Here we've got one of our firefighters working on pull-ups right now. Kyle, is that 100? 103. That's beautiful. Love it. We don't know what we'll see, so we want to make sure that we have all the tools to build ourselves up properly. This is Ladder 53. This is Brentwood Fire and Rescue's newest piece of frontline equipment. Gross vehicle weight is 56,000 pounds. That's as much as four and a half African elephants. The ladder on it, from base of the wheel to tip of the ladder, can stretch as high as 75 feet. That would be like stacking seven and a half African elephants on top of one another, or a seven to eight story building. So, not every fire truck carries a pump and hoses. Uh, a lot of fire departments, especially ours, have a specialty truck like this one. This is our rescue truck. And you can think of it kind of like a rolling toolbox. It carries a various uh, array of tools, like some of our cutting tools here, along with jacks, rope rescue, extrication tools, some of the hand tools like these irons here, all to better serve the community. In any type of situation, as a firefighter, we have to be kind of like the Swiss Army knife. We have to be able to respond to any type of emergency that may arise. And this is just one of the tools that we have in our toolbox to help serve you. On behalf of myself and everyone here at Braywood Fire and Rescue, we'd like to thank you for joining our tour. If you want to learn more about our fire department and what we do, you can always go to BrentwoodTN.gov. And also don't forget to check out our Facebook page. Lots of pertinent information there, as well as pictures of what we're doing and how we're better serving you. Thank you. <laughs>